Well, school assemblies aren't always the most exciting, but that wasn't the case this afternoon at South River High in Anne Arundel County. As Alex Dimitrik reports, there's nothing like a visit to the International Space Station to generate a little excitement. The auditorium holds a lot of seats. Very few are empty waiting for this. South River High School, welcome aboard the International Space Station. A live video hookup with two astronauts. Rick Arnold grew up in Maryland and is a school teacher. His parents were surprised teaching took him to space. He applied to NASA. And I said, I didn't know they had a school. He said, well, they don't really have a school, but they're looking for teachers to go back in the program. And students lined up with their questions. If you had to describe your experience at NASA so far in three words, what would they be and why? I think uh, challenging, exciting, and fulfilling. Um, it's a, a challenging job. There's a lot expected of us. There's a lot to learn. Uh, requires a lot of hard work. Ricky, what happens if an astronaut gets sick during a mission? Drew's trained. I'm trained, but neither of us want the other guy to perform any kind of emergency medical procedures on each other. Great teachers inspire. So, how did Rick Arnold do? Uh, it was really cool. It was way more than what I expected. Astronomy is really fascinating. I love learning about the stars and the planets. So maybe I will end up in space one day. There was one down-to-earth question. Ricky, when you call your parents and friends, are you using your cell phone? And can you call no matter what part of the world you're over? Hey, Dad, how you doing? Um, no, uh, my government phone, they did not want to pay those bills uh, using a cell phone up here, and it, it wouldn't work. For his parents, there is pride in their son's accomplishment, and sometimes worry. Yeah, the launches are pretty intense, that's for sure. But then, so was Rick Arnold's classroom. Alex Dimitrik, WJZ. Rick Arnold, or Ricky, as his dad calls him, is due to return to Earth in October after spending six months in space. Unbelievable. I know. It's neat his dad got to talk to him yes. today, too.